The women in the harem, at all stages, were recruited like the men who were serving the Sultan, as janissaries, as famous pashas. Um, they all are Christian in origin. They may come in as prisoners of war. They may come in on the slave market. Or they may come in um, as gifts. They're being taught uh, cultural skills, how to converse politely. Some of them are expert musicians, poets. They perform. So it is a place where women are being trained for service to the dynasty. Traditionally, the image of the Ottoman harem is one of pleasure and seduction. But as the harem expanded within Topkapi Palace, it brought women into the heart of government. Originally from places like Bulgaria, Georgia, and Macedonia, the women of the harem had converted to Islam. And through bearing the Sultan's son, some harem women were responsible for the political training of successors to the Ottoman Sultanate. Others became part of the Ottoman political arena by marrying the male trainees in the palace. 